Oh, ready, it's uh, Friday, February 22nd, 2013, and I finally got my days right. Yeah, it's been a long day. I went food shopping in the middle of a blizzard today. There was a blizzard today, but I had to go food shopping anyway, so... What are you going to do? You have you have to do things uh, when you live on your own. You have to do things regardless of what the weather is. So I had to go food shopping. I had to go food shopping. That's sort of how it goes. Anyways, uh, on to today's thing. We've been talking about uh, throughout the week about... Uh, and then this is kind of the topic that's common to a lot of YouTubers. I'm seeing it now more and more that a lot of YouTubers have a, uh, have a lot... Have, have this... I guess they call it the nerd complex. Uh, uh, is very common to the into, into, uh, to the YouTubers. Uh, it's not it's not hard to find a nerd on YouTube. Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, this is where even um, uh, popular people could sort of bring out their nerdy side and sort of not feel really feel bad about it because well, basically everyone else on the internet is a nerd. Yeah, <laughs> on YouTube is a nerd, so. <laughs> it's not a bad thing, but anyways, I was over at uh, uh, the this uh, YouTuber's channel. Uh, her name is uh, the channel's name is uh, uh, Jasmine's uh, Lolita. She's a cosplayer, and uh, for those of you who don't know what a cosplayer is, uh, it's a person who uh, dresses up in anime and manga uh, costumes and sort of you. Uh, Live your life as a as a role playing thing. That's kind of how I ended up uh, as Cyborg Alpha. Is uh, I really didn't want to be on the internet as myself, so uh, I was thinking a little bit about things and uh, realized that the, that I can come on as the robot that I'm building. I'm actually working on Cyborg Alpha, working on ba building uh, building a cyborg and. Really, sort of we decided I'm all going to go on uh, YouTube and on the internet as Cyborg Alpha. So that's how I exist as, as Cyborg Cyborg Alpha on here. And it's just because you know, as a nerd, you're not always uh, that comfortable with yourself as 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 the person. You don't have the sort of confidence and secu security about yourself that uh, others uh, who are in the more normal society would. So, you know, they're sort of saying, eh, you know, praising your own name. So, and then she has a, a, she had a video uh, on, on this sort of along this, along this line about, uh, and it's, 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 it's uh, the, the Pressure to Be Perfect Beauty Campaign. This is, I'm on her website right now, actually. And it says, this page is dedicated to girls and their comments and guys with self-esteem issues. Uh, everyone has imperfections. Some people uh, let their perfections run their life. Um, imperfections run their life. In other words, it's talking about sort of overcoming uh, your uh, uh, insecurities. To, you know, the, the things that sort of in many ways make you a nerd. But the thing is, that's not always the case. Is you're not, you're not, it's not issue. Not always an issue of self-esteem. And, and actually. Uh, this is one of the pet peeves I have. One, of, you know, a few pet peeves I have is this whole term self-esteem. Uh, if you look up the dictionary, and this is a nerdy type of thing here. This is part of my my nerdiness. Uh, uh, self-esteem, by definition, means narcissism. It matches up with the definition of narcissism because esteem is an attribute, as defined uh, in Webster's dictionary, as a is a praise or attribute that somebody else gives to you. In other words, uh, you can't give yourself esteem because esteem is something that's given to you, not by you. Uh, in other words, it has to be seen in you by others in order for you to have esteem. You can't give yourself esteem, otherwise uh, <laughs> it, it, it you're putting yourself into a position of height in society to have this esteem by yourself. And that's basically conceit. That's uh, uh, narcissism. And that doesn't solve the problem. I mean, I'm not, I, and this is sort of where I'm coming from. I've, I've been uh, a nerd, a geek, or whatever you want to call it, all my life. I don't actually fall, fit into a particular category. This is sort of the closest approach, uh, if you want to, uh, to give myself some degree of definition. That's sort of where it is. Uh, I always say, if you, uh, people ask me, well, what do I do for, for my life? 
my my answer now is simply if you want to see who I am, go go watch the show Big Bang Theory. That's how the show became big. My show became Big Bang Theory. Well, because I use the show Big Bang Theory to, to tell to uh, explain to people what I do for my life. <laughs> That's kind of what I do. And uh, but the thing is, is that I'm not necessarily a genius. I'm not necessarily a smart person. Uh, I nothing has ever come easy for me. I've never viewed myself as being a standard person or the standard, you know, the cute guy or whatever. Everything's sort of, uh, it's a matter of perseverance. It's a matter of, well, if I want something, I'm going to have to work for it. And if I don't work for it, I'm not going to get it. And so my choice was, well, let's keep going. And even if I fail, it doesn't matter if I fail, because no one really expected me to do much of anything anyways. I was kind of always the loser, the, uh, the, the the awkward person. I was never uh, sort of expected to amount to much of anything. So with that, with, with that uh, sort of expectation gone uh, in terms of how society viewed me, uh, there's a bizarre flip side to that, that with the, the expectation of society gone because I'm a social reject, uh, the pressure that society puts on a person to perform at a particular level is gone. And because that pressure is gone, failure isn't a problem anymore because no one cares if you fail or not. There's no one that expects you to do much of anything anyways. So it didn't matter how many times I failed at something. As long as I, each time I failed, I learned and moved a little bit further. At some point in time, even though I kept failing, I would actually achieve the goal that I set out to achieve simply by persevering through it. Not that I succeeded all, you know, in one shot. It was sort of an incremental success. I tried the first time, failed, but got that much further. You know, got that far. That far. Uh, failed, tried again, failed, got a little bit further. Tried again, failed, got a little bit further until I reached my goal. And that's kind of how... I am where I am today is that uh, it is a matter of sort of try, fail, try again. Try, fail, try again. And that's kind of how I ended up where I am today uh, with my own research institute. And this is where my research, research, research institute is. It's sort of still in that mode of that, well, failure doesn't matter, and self-esteem doesn't matter. What other people, and this is because what other people think about me and myself and what I'm doing also doesn't matter. It's what I think of me that matters, uh, and that even if I don't think of anything about myself, there's not, in other words, I don't really have much thought about what I am and, you know, and so forth. As long as I'm continually moving forward, even if I am making mistakes, that's all that counts. And that's sort of the way my life is, is that uh, there's not much thought to my own self-esteem. Uh, and that, it, 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 this does not mean that I'm down on myself. This simply means that I don't care about my self-image. I don't care about how I appear to others. I don't care about uh, being one thing or another or what other people think should be proper or whatever. It's what I think that matters and that's how I behave. That's who I am. And that's all that really matters. And, another, and, 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 it, and I'm not going to say that I'm beautiful because, because not everybody's beautiful. There are different people in different shapes, different sizes, uh, different conditions in life. And there isn't going to be somebody for everybody. There are going to be people who are going to be alone in life. There are going to be people who, you know, aren't going to be the cutest person in the world. There are going to be ugly people in the world in terms of their physical attributes. But that doesn't matter. None of it matters. Because it, what matters is how you approach the different challenges that life gives you, whether life gives you a challenge or, or one challenge or another. Even gorgeous people have their own particular issues. <laughs> and that sounds unusual, but they do have their own particular issues. But most of their issues are primarily uh, with their own mind. 
And they don't actually have any physical challenges. They're, most of their challenges are mental. They're psychological. So, uh, but the only way I would sort of phrase this, and this is where I'm going to put this into the uh, Pressure to Be Perfect Beauty campaign, is that don't worry about how, you, how others perceive you. And you don't have to be beautiful in terms of giving yourself affirmations in order to start having a better life. It's just up to you. Do you if you want to have a better life, get up and start having a better life. Choose to do things on a daily basis that you want to do. And then move from there. If you, if you don't like the type of person who you are, then try to see if you can change that bit by bit. Not all at once. Nothing can change all at once immediately. Again, it's just try. If you fail, try again. You know, but if you're afraid of failure, if you're afraid to sort of even try these things, then you're not going to go anywhere. It's just a matter of if this is something that you want, if you want a better life, then you have to get up and work for it. Nothing is going to be given to you f uh, for free. Anyways, that's my two cents on uh, Pressure to be Perfect, the beauty campaign. Uh, I hope people can sort of uh, get something out of this. And thanks, uh, Jasmine. Uh, I think it's no Jazz Mary uh, and for Lolita for for this uh, and this is my contribution to this. All right, take it easy. This is the, the this is Friday's vlog. All right, take it easy. Bye bye.